right, we're gonna start the recipe off by creaming our butter and our sugar. It's gotta be real nice and creamy so you can get some nice flaky cookies. I like them crispy. Okay, I put the sugar and the butter, which is at room temperature, the butter always. Now let me turn this so you can see. We're gonna start this off slow and let it be till it's real nice and pale yellow. Okay, that's done. Okay, now we're gonna add in our egg, which should also be at room temperature. And we're gonna add in our extracts. This is some almond extract and some vanilla extract. And I am using the clear because I don't want to stain my dough. So when I go to color it with the pastel colors, it doesn't change it, you know, drastically. It doesn't make it an ugly color. So we're gonna get this in here and then we're gonna add in our flour. I'm gonna show you the flour here. Okay, so to the flour, we're gonna add in our baking powder. This was the baking powder and salt. Okay, and we're gonna just give this a little mix just to make sure it's incorporated and set it aside. We're gonna use it here in just a minute. Okay, let's get this incorporated. All right, I'm gonna stop it. I'm gonna start adding in the flour just a little bit at a time. Turn on the mixer slowly so you don't get a flour bath. Okay, and that's it, let's take this. Down. Okay, now I'm gonna put this on the counter and as you can see, nothing really sticks to the bowl. This is a pretty good dough. You can use this for cutout cookies. I'm just gonna bring this together so that we can add in the gel. Now you split it up into whatever colors you wanna use. I have these really nice gel colors that I found. I'll link them down below. So that's pink, yellow, baby blue, and green. Perfect colors for the Easter holiday. So I'm gonna actually do one of each color. So let's get it even here. Scraper. Let's see, we're about the same here. I'm just gonna do this on the counter. It will not hurt anything. I'm gonna start with the the baby green color, and you make it as dark as you want. I'm gonna start off easy. Okay, there we go, there's the light green. Let's do the yellow. Okay, and there's our yellow, look at how cute that is. Okay, now let's do our pink. Last but not least, the baby blue. I might add some more to that green one. Okay, this one looks more like a teal color, but that's okay, we'll take it. And you can see how pretty that's gonna look for the Easter cookies, how cute that is. All right, let me get some sprinkles and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I got some sprinkles. Now pick whatever you like. I just found these. I thought they were super cute for Easter, the little uh, pastel-y color, some more vibrant. And then I had these in my stash that I've used before. Really cute. Okay, I'm gonna pick those two. If you wanna use more, use more. I have a cookie scoop. I have my cookie tray with my parchment paper. My oven is preheating to 325. You don't need a cookie scoop. You can just do these by hand if you want to. I just find it easy and makes the cookies more uniform. So I scoop them out. I roll them gently and I press them down just a little bit, just about like that. And then all I do is press them down into the sprinkles, just like that. Now, if you wanna keep pressing them harder and get more sprinkles, that's up to you. See how cute that looks? And then you just start placing them on your cookie tray, okay? So I'm gonna continue to do this with uh, all the colors. We will start to bake them. Check out how cute they look. Look at that, how easy that is. Look at that, how cute. Or you can put them on top and press them down, whatever you wanna do. Whatever you feel like works for you. Let's try these smaller ones. I bet you these are gonna stick real nice. 
do the sides, the bottom. Look at that. And the pink stands out once it starts to bake. Let's do the green. Look at how pretty this green is. I'm just gonna do the little balls first. Look at that, how cute that stands out. Okay, now we're gonna do the yellow. Okay, the last color was this blue. Looks more like a teal, but that'll work anyway. I'm sure they're gonna be very, very tasty. Last ones. Okay, that's the last one. I'm gonna put these to bake. The oven is at 325 degrees. It's gonna take about 20 minutes, okay? We'll be back after they're done. Okay, everybody, the cookies are done. It took them 25 minutes. This is the last rack that just came out. I'm gonna show you how I like to present it. I buy this uh, edible grass that I found at my local grocery store. This is blueberry and this one is green apple flavor. Really doesn't taste like a whole, you know, a whole lot of nothing, but you know, it just makes it pretty. You can use this for different things. What I'm gonna do, you can top it like on a tray like this and put some cookies on top. You know, just keep going like this. Present them like that. Or, I'm touching these guys because these are staying here with me. They're not going to be given away to anybody. Take some of the grass. Take it apart. I'm going to use some of the blue, the blueberry one as well. I think that looks cute. This is too cute. And then we just stack our cookies. I think the best colored cookies out of all these gel ones, just so you know, are the pink and the yellow. I really like the way the colors came out on those. I thought they were extremely, extremely cute. You can change the colors if you like. I mean, you don't have to stick to just pastels. I just did it because of the Easter a, a holiday. And then of course you change it to whatever you like. a little bit of the grass showing there. I'm gonna do these out and look at that, how pretty. Oops, got some hanging over here. How pretty is that? Look at that. And if you really wanna get decorative, get some of the bunnies or, or jelly beans and put them there on, on the top. Maybe a little bit of grass right here. And there you go, what a pretty presentation for your Easter Sunday table. What a pretty thing. And these cookies, guys, are just delicious. They're crispy along the edges, and they're soft in the middle. Yum. I'm not coming out on camera today, guys. My allergies are killing me. I'm just going to leave it at that. Nobody wants to see that. Let's take a taste. Mmm. They're so good. Very, very good. Okay, that's going to conclude the video for today, guys. I sure hope you took some inspiration from this video. Change the colors around, the platter, the presentation. You do you in your kitchen. That's going to do it for us today. Don't forget, if you like, big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave comments. That really helps out. All right, I'll talk to you all later. Bye.